starting with our last and most important topic is memory here comes a question in a physiology viva teacher asked to student who recorded first human eeg student responded with i don't know sir teacher feels sorry for the student and gives a hint to student the word rhymes with what you get in mcdonald then the student gives the right answer this type of memory recall is example of so let's take a look of memory first and then we will come back to this question there are two main types of memory explicit memory and implicit memory explicit memory it is also called declarative memory okay write it down explicit is also called declarative while implicit memory is called non declarative memory explicit memory it needs conscious thought and implicit memory it is a reflexive it doesn't need any conscious thought while explicit memory needs conscious thought then what are the examples remember explicit memory example is if i ask you which chapter did you study it last night then you will think and then you will give the answer so this type of memory comes under explicit memory what about implicit memory i told you it's a reflexive so driving a car comes under implicit memory got it guys now remember this explicit memory and implicit memory are again divided into different types of memory so this explicit memory is divided into two that is semantic memory and episodic memory this semantic memory it tells about the facts that is zebra is white and black this is fact so this is come under the semantic memory which is a sub type of explicit memory what about events episodic memory tells about the events so if i ask you where did you enjoy your last birthday with your friends then you will just think and then you will tell okay ma'am we went there like that so this is the nothing but episodic memory which tells about the events okay so this comes under explicit memory now what about implicit it is again divided into different types first is procedural memory then priming then associative learning and then non associative learning first we will see about the procedural memory procedural memory it tells about skills and habits so here you know the example is driving a car driving a car comes under procedural memory which is a sub type of implicit memory got it so just write it down what about priming remember here in priming there is recognition of words or object is there by prior exposure just take an example if you ask me to sing a song starting with the m just like in antakshari then i will sing mere angne mein tumhara kya kaam hai got it so here you are giving me the hint that is m in antakshari and i am singing a song so this is nothing but priming guys got it now in our question okay what was that the teacher was saying that the name rhymes with what you get in mcdonald and we know what we get in mcdonald we get burger and eeg is discovered by burger b u r g e r and burger b e r g e r so these two are rhyme words okay guys so the answer to our question is priming got it now next is associative learning and the good example for this associative learning is classical conditioning it is given by which experiment paul laws experiment what is happening in classical conditioning if you give food and bell at the same time to the dog then dog starts salivating if you do this for 100 times or more than 100 times then what will happen if you just ring without any food then also dog starts salivating this is nothing but classical conditioning which comes under associative learning and which comes under implicit memory just write it down it's very important guys now last is non associative learning what is happening just take an example of habituation it comes under non associative learning what is happening here if loud stimulus is given repeatedly 
then startle response to it decrease you can see here how the startle response has decreased if you just give the sound stimulus repeatedly got it okay so you should know all these four subtypes which comes under the implicit memory now coming back to our question now you know the answer the word rhymes with what you get at McDonald is burger and the scientist which discovered the human age is burger. So, this is what is this? This is priming. So, the answer is A priming. Got it? Now, you know this answer previously only. So, you know this answer. Paula's experiment on dog shows. Now, you know what is the answer? It's conditional response. Got it? Now, which of the following is not example of implicit memory? Just try to think about the types of implicit memories. Priming, yeah, it, so it cannot be the answer. What about semantic memory? No, it comes under explicit memory. So, the answer over here is B, semantic memory. It is not a type of implicit, it is type of explicit memory. What about habituation? implicit type of implicit so it is not the answer procedural memory again a type of implicit so again this is not the answer so our answer is b that is semantic memory now the two most important thing which you should remember is explicit memory it is divided into semantic and episodic memory and the next is priming where there is recognition of words or object is there by prior exposure got it so this was all about part two of central nervous system we have covered all these topics don't forget to revise all these topics before your exam and just keep watching physiology partshala by akash pg plus